Boom! Dow up 106 points. This is D7 here at Grok Trade. It's Monday, April 18th, 2016. Markets got down today, but in the day in bullish territory, everybody up, 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 up. And we have financials supporting today's rally to the upside. Crude oil down 0.8%, and precious metals down, VIX also down, fear down. Check this out. Look at this. This is the spider, the SP 500 exchange traded fund. This morning we got down. Remember, I told you over the weekend video we have a lower high, lower low. It looks like to me it's wanting to drop down. The markets had something else in mind. We had the gap down, which didn't surprise us. We came up, filled the gap intraday, and then we kept charging higher and higher and higher, busting through this trend line, busting through this area of resistance, this line, and this area of resistance, this line, and a major blue trend line. This this is a big, big close, gang, over this area. Just a huge, very unexpected. It's funny, my assistant was here with me, and I said, wow, did not expect today's move. And I said, "You, uh, I do not say that very often, and you guys know that. Usually, uh, we do a very good job with predicting what's to come, and I would have not have guessed that we'd had a gap down it busts through so many areas of resistance, especially some major resistance points, to get a solid close by day's end on decent volume. It's not great volume, but it happened on a fairly supporting volume, too. That is a big, big move. Now, I got rid of my longs on Friday. I almost re-entered them today now that it's got above this until i saw some things so let's get into the markets look at a couple areas that i'm concerned with the dow the dow popped up but it's getting ready to hit an area of resistance it's nearing that right now the nasdaq it it's having a hard time getting off the floor it's just staying if i were to get a line and split this wedge going higher it's staying in the lower part of that, just not overly strong. And volume is fairly weak. Small caps, though, looking good. Uh, we had this base, this high base, building uh, just under a, the 200-day moving average, and we get a pop, pop, higher. But the volume has been decreasing even on today's pop. That is suspect to me. The banks stopped right at the 200-day moving average. It's acting as resistance. We did pop over this minor resistance, but we paused right there. Financials still going sideways. Not a whole lot of anything. Hasn't even reached the 200-day yet. And let's go back to the spider. I'm going to go back to this. If you look at the weekly chart, weekly chart on the spider or in this case we're looking at the dow right now the diamonds very very strong but i'm going to go here to spiders look at this area of resistance that we're at on the weekly we have resistance 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 we're right at that for the week so that is troubling to me the last thing i want to do is be long going into that if you like my daily videos on technical analysis, like it, catch you guys later.